Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about turning right at an intersection that has a red light. I've had some different questions from viewers about this, so I thought I would make a video and clarify some of the information about turning right at an intersection that has a red light. Yes, you can do it, but first and foremost, you have to come to a complete stop first, yield the right of way to all other road users, pedestrians, people on bicycles and scooters, and then when the way is clear and you have brought the vehicle to a complete stop at the correct stopping position, you then can turn right. So what we're going to do today, we're going to fire up the cameras, go for a drive, and show you how to turn right at a red light. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Smart drivers, welcome back. Turning right on a red light. So we come to a stop before the stop line. It just rolls under the front. We can see the pedestrian crosswalk. We can't see the intersection, so we move forward until we can see. When we give the right of way to all other road users, we have a pedestrian crossing here. The pedestrian is good. Way is clear. And we proceed in behind the vehicles in the left lane. And that's how you make a right-hand turn on a red light mirror signal shoulder check approximately half a block from the turn up and stop moving to positioning the vehicle to the right stop at the correct place and the light is going to turn green we move forward so we can see there aren't any pedestrians the way is clear and we proceed on the red light That's how you do it at a red light. You simply stop at the correct stopping position. Give the right of way to other road users and then proceed. Rear signal shoulder check. Approximately half a turn from the block. From the turn, the intersection, stop just before the stop line. Scan the intersection. Give the right of way to pedestrians. That pedestrian is coming across. So we stay behind the stop line until the pedestrian attains the curb. We move forward, scanning the intersection. There are any vehicles coming, shoulder checking immediately before the turn. Both hands on the steering wheel and proceeding. Turning right at the red light. <clears throat> Mirror signal shoulder check, moving across the bicycle lane and into the turning lane stopping at the correct position behind the stop line and the light has gone to red now we can go we still scan thoroughly and we proceed and you saw as i was moving into the intersection i scanned the intersection to ensure that there weren't other road users this intersection we're behind traffic so it's and a lot of the traffic's probably going to be proceeding straight through so it's unlikely we're going to be able to turn right on this red light but the traffic is moving forward but some of these vehicles don't have their signals on and this is a straight through turning lane so it's unlikely that vehicle in front of me doesn't look like he's turning so coming up Scanning the intersection, shoulder checking, shoulder checking again, scanning the intersection and we proceed. Here I could squeeze in beside that vehicle but because there's a bicycle lane and there's a solid white line, you cannot cross over that bicycle lane and squeeze up in beside him, that vehicle in front of you to turn right. So just know that on a road test that you have to wait until that vehicle proceeds because you can't squeeze over into the bicycle lane for the purposes of a road test. Perfect. The vehicle in front of me decided to turn right as well. So we come up, stop at the stop line, behind the stop line, and the traffic is proceeding. I've got pedestrians on my left that are coming across, so I wait for the pedestrians to clear the intersection. Pedestrians have cleared the intersection. There's a lot of traffic here. And I've got a bicycle here. Okay, it's spring now, so now we have to be careful of bicycles. That's why we need to shoulder check. And that bicycle is sitting right in the way. I don't know what 
the person on the bicycle is doing. I can go after this truck, the way is clear. I'm just keeping an eye on that bicycle. And they seem to be staying where they are. And that is the way that you turn right on a red. And again, just pay attention to bicycles. <laughs> Quick review of right hand turns on a red light. Stop before the stop line. Most of these intersections are going to have a stop line. So when the stop line just rolls underneath the front of the car, stop. Same thing as any other turn. As you're approaching the turn half a block from the turn approximately, mirror signal shoulder check. Keep your signal on. If your signal cancels because you're moving over to the right to position the vehicle, then you need to turn your signal back on. So just pay attention to that as you're making your turn. You have to give the right of way to all of the road users, particularly pedestrians, and there could and could and most likely will be because you're at a traffic light, will be pedestrians crossing. So you have to wait until they attain the sidewalk or the footpath before they get before you can proceed around the corner because you have to give the right of way to pedestrians and other road users, scooters and cyclists and make sure now that spring's coming on, we've got cyclists out, make sure that you do a shoulder check as you saw in the one video there. Uh, look for cyclists and make sure you know what they're doing because you don't want to impede their progress or have some sort of conflict, especially on your road test. One other point about turning right on a red light, if you come up to the red light, and the traffic on the other side is turning left, obviously at an advanced green. That traffic at the advanced green on the other side of the intersection has the right of way. So you have to wait until the advanced green stops for the left turning traffic before you can proceed because they have the right of way over right turning vehicles. So just take note of that as you saw in the one clip here. Uh, when I was turning right and the other vehicle obviously was turning on an advanced green, that vehicle had the right of way. Question for my smart drivers. Have you had difficulty making right hand turns at red lights? Will this video help you out? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers learning how to drive. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section as well. Hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. Lots of great information here as well. Head over to my website, great information over there, and awesome online courses that you can purchase. And on that note, we're just about to release Air Brake Simplified. It's an ebook for those commercial drivers working towards their CDL license and getting their air brake endorsement. This is step by step instructions of the very important information that you need to know and test questions two that you need to know to get your air brakes for your CDL license. Thanks again for watching. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Good luck in your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. Check approximately half a block from the turn. And the light, of course, went green on us. So look out. Scanning, scanning, scanning. This one's going to work for us.